Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So today I want to talk about Biorhythm, which is a mechanic only found in Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, and why I think it's actually pretty dope. Most people hate it, most people talk about it as being one of the worst parts about the Telia Saga, but I think it adds a lot of uniqueness and a lot of fun to the game. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to the second channel. Uh, Adam Henderson, where we were playing uh, Chrono Trigger right now, so we'll probably be streaming it. We're going to be streaming it some more, talking about it some more, maybe for the next two weeks, uh, and having a good time over there. We've played other games and stuff like that too, so please go subscribe to that. It would mean a lot to, to us and help us out a lot. So thank you, thank you. All right, so Biorhythm. Every character in the game is given a sine wave that looks like this. Or something like this, I should say. Everyone has, like, they all have different ones. Different styles. Like, in, even enemies have it too, right? So this sine wave, when it, uh, there's a that little point, that flashing point you see there, that is where your biorhythm is currently at. And it moves along that sine wave every single turn. It moves up and down, up and down, right? So when it's at its highest point or above the top line, you get, or when it's at its quote-unquote best, you get plus 10 hit, plus 10 avoid, plus 10% skill activation, and plus 20% chance of finding hidden items. And then for good, it's 5 on all stuff, except it's 5 hit, avoid, and skill activation. Normal, which is when it's between, or essentially when it's close to the middle, uh, there's no effects. And then when you get below the line, the, the middle, thicker white line, uh, it becomes bad and then the worst, which is minus 5 and minus 10 to stuff, respectively. A lot of people say this adds a lot of randomness to the game and they don't like it. But what I think it does is adds a... It's another tool. So you guys will know, people who uh, watch the channel know that I'm a big fan of tools that the player can utilize. And for most people, they think it's just kind of an annoying thing that you have to check constantly but I think it adds a lot of uniqueness to every character and also uh, just honestly helps the player more than it should hurt them if you're paying attention. So like for instance right here, we have this bandit who has bad biorhythm right now. And we have Edward who's at his best. So that is a 15 point uh, hit swing on both sides for, for both characters. So minus 15 hit essentially for the bandit and plus 15 for us. So we have 100, we probably have 100 either way, uh, but the bandit only has 36 rather than 51, which is a much less scary hit rate to face, especially when we're talking about the two RN system that the later Fire Emblem games use. So chances are we're not gonna get hit here. Watch us get hit here. Yeah, see, okay, we didn't get hit here. And that's awesome. That's what we wanna see, right? Biorhythm is something that rarely, I, I feel, rarely hurts the player and more often than not helps the player when you pay attention. And now I hear you say, but it's annoying to check for it all the time. You see those green arrows uh, in the, the unit box there? That tells you where their biorhythm is. So Edwards is a big green arrow because it means, hey, this is at the best. Makai's is a small green arrow because it's at the, the second best, or it's good right now. Which is indicated by the, the glowing light hit, right? I personally really like Biorhythm. And it's not hard to keep track of because, like, oh, look, this guy, I can just look and say, okay, this guy's mi minus 10 hit, minus 10 avoid right now. So I can take advantage of that. Oh, this guy has minus 5, this guy's minus 10. I think, like, all the enemies on this map start with, like, a low Biorhythm on purpose, but. Or this guy doesn't have any affected Biorhythm, so he's normal right now. This. It's just something you have to pay attention to, and I think it adds a lot of fun uh, depth to the game in a lot of areas. Uh, I will admit later in the game it becomes less important because your units become so just like busted and overpowered. Uh, but in the early game it's fun to mess around with, and I think it's a big reason that people struggle with the Dawn Brigade chapters is because they don't take advantage of biorhythm. And if you do take advantage of biorhythm, you're going to have a lot easier time in the game. So, I want biorhythm to return. Unpopular opinion, I love it to death. I think it's a really fun mechanic. I think I've jokingly said I don't like it, but I do. So bring Biorhythm back, and especially the Radiant Dawn version, where it gives every character, and it doesn't, not every character, but 
characters have unique sine waves to them so that it's just another way to differentiate one character from the next because in fire emblem a lot of characters can be really samey especially when you look at like three houses where you have characters like sylvain and ferdinand who are basically the same unit <laughs> like let's be honest their personal skills are different i guess but i mean everyone uses them basically the same it's like oh swift strikes guys just like yeah done so it, it, it's nice it's a nice little variation on things but hey those are just my thoughts it's my opinion what do you guys think do you like biorhythm chances are you don't but i would love to hear if you do like it and tell me would you like to see it in a future game or how would you like it implemented in a future game if it was going to be there that's what would be most interesting to hear and of course please go subscribe to the second channel we will be playing some more chrono trigger which is a lot of fun and then other stuff later on and subscribe to this channel if you haven't because we do fun fire emblem stuff and who doesn't love fire emblem i mean if you're watching this you probably do so yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you next time friends